You're watching News 360. Thanks for staying with us. Good evening. I am Nanikia Mensah Brampa. And coming up tonight, the debate is still on. And the former Minister for Power, Dr. Kwabna Donko, says governments plan to list the Ghana Great Company Limited, that is Great Co, on the stock market uh, would be unnecessary and ill-advised. The African Center for Energy Policy, ASAP, is also arguing that Great Co is a national security infrastructure which should not be tampered with. The growing debate of whether or not to list Great Co and VRA on the Ghana Stock Exchange continues. Government is considering listing Great Co on the stock exchange to make the energy sector more efficient and solve the funding challenges facing power companies. Managers at the exchange see this as welcome news, as the listing of the two companies will help deepen the development of the market and serve as good equities for pension fund investment. However, the former Minister of Power, Dr. Kwabna Donko, describes the stock market's considerations as a disappointment. Putting it on the stock exchange is just an euphemism for saying they were going to sell, which is a trait of their tradition, disposal of viable state entities. And for me, it is just to realize short-term funds to undertake projects that may not even have long-term consequences. Gridco is the most sensitive of all the power sector institutions. If we are going to put it on the stock exchange, if we are going to put it in private hands, then the mediating effect of governance is removed. For ASEP, government should continue to control and own Gridco 100%. If you don't have Gridco to transmit uh, the power, we won't have power in our homes and our businesses. So that's why we think that we have to hold on to that infrastructure, let Ghana own it, so that Ghana can play that regulatory role between the generation companies. Because we are introducing private sector into the generation side. We are introducing private sector into the distribution side. But we need to stay in the middle uh, to regulate uh, the sector, to make sure that uh, there is that uh, fair playing field. On VRA's listing, they have proposed government only lists the thermal subsidiary of the authority on the stock exchange. What we propose is that we should have a holding company, a VRA holding company, that will own uh, a consolidated uh, hydro plant, including the Bui Hydro. We have to consolidate all the hydro uh, plants for VRA to manage. And then we can set up a subsidiary to manage the thermal component. And then that subsidiary, therefore, can be listed on the stock market. All right, so the argument has taken another turn. Let's maintain grid core and list part of VRA. Well, the ICU also thinks otherwise. The Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, the ICU, has called for dialogue on the decision of government to list VRA and grid core on the stock market. The union has lauded the decision to list the two power companies on the market, but is calling for transparency in that process. Daniel Lupuko has this. President Akufuado, during the presentation of the State of the Nation Address to Parliament, indicated plans to list the VRA and grid coal on the stock exchange to recapitalize the two companies. This has generated debates in some circles with the minority in Parliament, arguing that the listing would create total privatization of the two companies. The majority, however, argues that the listing of the two companies would raise the needed capital. Already, some labor unions, the Public Services Workers Union and the Public Utilities Workers Union have called for swift discussions before the two companies are listed on the stock exchange. For its part, the Industrial Commercial Workers Union, ICU, has called for transparency in the process of listing the companies on the stock exchange. It's marvelous because once they go on a stock exchange, it gives room and way for many more to participate and become either shareholders or what have you. So that whatever wealth they have doesn't stay with them alone, but it is come around to whoever has interest to share in it. In another development, ICU has charged it's newly sworn in local union executives in the banking sector to hold discussions on how interest rates could be reduced. 
Again, the General Secretary, Solomon Kote, asked them to be open-minded and assist the Bank of Ghana to check on the operations of microfinance operators. What the intention of the Bank of Ghana is, rather the regulation and the supervision should be stronger to bring effectiveness. Even though they are competing with the commercial banks now, it is a fair playing field that must be open and be supervised well. Why? Right, so to list or not to list Great Coin BRA, well, the ball is in government's course. Let's move away from that. And the Food and Drugs Authority has closed down Piccadilly Company for producing biscuits with expert flour. Director of Communications for the Authority, James Latte, says the company closed down the facility following a tip off from residents in the area. For the past few days, residents of North Kaneshi have been complaining about the increase in number of insects and flies in the area causing discomfort for them. They alleged the insects were as a result of expired flour used for the production of Piccadilly biscuits. A resident, Razak Abdullah, said several complaints to management of the company on the development yielded no results. He added the management of the company rather sprayed some portions of the community to reduce presence of flies in the area, but that did not change the situation. I'm about here last two weeks, last week, I can buy spray gallons. They were here last two weeks to fumigate the area, but we refused and asked them to go for original chemicals. They later brought in AMA official to spray, but that did not help the situation. Still, one nuku nuku nuku. Another resident, Gladys Dugbate, shared a similar concern. The insects will never allow you to sleep. They will enter your eyes, and when it enters, it's like pepper, and it hurts. Following a tip-off, the Food and Drugs Authority has now closed down the company for further investigations into the use of unwholesome flour. FDA immediately sent officers around and truly when the officers got to the premises, this was confirmed that they had some flour in their warehouse infested with weevils. So we immediately closed down the warehouse. We did the necessary documentations and sent them a letter that effective 20th, that was this Monday, they should cease all production. Well, that was one of my favorite biscuits when I was in senior high school and Christmas as well. But that's sad. Well, that would do for business. Yeah.